My name is Chris Ying, and we're gonna talk a little bit about popcorn today. At least 112 times a week, my children ask me if we can have a movie night. Everybody knows how to make popcorn, whether you're doing a microwave, you do it in a bowl, but I have made an incredible, ungodly amount of popcorn in my life. And I've settled on a, a method that I think is pretty cool that I think I would like to share with you all for how I make popcorn for a family movie night. Set my, my nonstick onto the old, that's called fire, stove. And then let that heat up for a second. I usually use grapeseed oil. We have vegetable oil today. Uh, and then here is the other crucial component to popcorn. And that is popcorn. Very important when you're making popcorn that you have popcorn. Uh, I, I discovered this Amish country baby white extra small and tender popcorn during the pandemic when a lot of this, a lot of the, uh, the hardcore research on things like what kind of popcorn to use was conducted during the pandemic when we were all trapped in our homes just eating this stuff by the gallon. Uh, and my friend Peter Freed, uh, who... He's just one of these guys, and I tend to I tend to um, attract these these friends who just geek out on everything. And he had identified Amish country popcorn, baby white, extra small and tender, non-GMO verified popcorn as his favorite. And I gave it a whirl because at that moment I had literally nothing else in my life. So I love this popcorn. This is, uh, we go through this five pound bag in less time than you would think. But uh, yeah, I, I prefer it because of the, I find I get a really good pop through rate. You know what I mean? The worst thing that can happen to you with popcorn is just to have a, a whole bunch of unpopped kernels at the bottom. So movie night at my house, two adults, two small children, usually, takes about three pawfuls of unpopped corn. is about as much popcorn as we need to get through one movie night. Um, it also happens to be just about the right amount to pop in this size pan uh, with leaving a little bit of room. Like I said, you wanna be able to shake all of this later, so you need a little bit of room. But that's it, by the way. Popcorn and oil. And then medium heat and let it rock. You will see here that I, I hope you will see here as I demonstrate this incredibly complicated technique that I'm only gonna have in that whole three big fistfuls of popcorn, maybe six, probably four unpopped kernels, which unheard of. As this pops away, look at this, it's, it's popping away, it's popping away. I wish we could get like a little GoPro in there. Let me do a, a, a computer, a digital reenactment of what's happening in there. Can we do like a, a little inset? Here's what's happening in that pan. You can't see because it's, it's there's all this condensation and stuff. But inside of this, inside of this uh, pan, each individual kernel of popcorn is going like this. Oh, I'm getting hot! I'm getting hot! Ah, pop! That's what's happening to each individual kernel of popcorn. I'm like that fun professor that everyone wants to get in their class because it's an easy A. Okay, so as this pops. Heat management's a little important here. You don't want to rock this super high, A, because if you're using a nonstick, you don't ever want to do super high heat. And B, uh, you know, the popping action is going to move the popcorn around, so it's not going to stick on the pan too much. But if your pan is too hot, you're going to end up with burnt popcorn, which is the absolute worst, which is crazy because the aroma of freshly popped popcorn is one of the best aromas in the world. But right next to it is burnt popcorn, which is one of the worst smells. Uh, on Earth, so that's that's getting this is this is popping away. The other thing you need for movie night popcorn is a big popcorn bowl. So I don't I have no idea where this came from, but this is our our house popcorn bowl. It is enormous and useless for almost every single other purpose other than holding popcorn and being shareable on the couch between four people. So, yeah, you know, I just poo-pooed having a giant popcorn maker, but I highly endorse having a giant popcorn bowl. 
my son does this thing. He's got a book called something about hats. And he'll just go, anything can be a hat. <laughs> Which I find adorable. Um, okay, so this is popping away. You want it to keep on going until basically your pop rate has slowed down to, you know, one pop every five, six seconds or something. But hopefully I will get almost all of these kernels popped as I promised you. During this popping time, this is usually when my children and I and my wife are debating what to watch for, for family movie night, which is <clears throat> one of the most annoying processes in the entire world. Finding a movie that a three-year-old, a six-year-old, and two 40-year-olds can agree on is a real pain in the butt. And I never really understood why these movie franchises would put out so many sequels. But it occurs to me now, as a parent, I'll be like, oh, Shrek. Shrek is great for the kids. It's perfectly right in the middle for all of our kids. Now we don't have to think about it. Next movie night, we'll just watch Shrek 2. And the next one, we'll watch Shrek 3. And then Shrek 4. I would, I, you know, I would watch 112 different Shrek movies if they would just make them and make my life a little easier. Okay, so this has stopped popping. So I'm gonna dump all that. Oh, do you see that? I don't even think there's a single unpopped kernel in here. But while this is still hot, I'm gonna use that residual heat. So the, the flame is off. I'm gonna use the residual heat that's in there to melt a good amount of butter. I don't want to burn it, but I want it to all melt. All right. This is why the, the doing it all in the pan is, is fun, because you can do it all at once and you don't have to swap anything around. So that's a lot of butter, more butter than I probably should have put in there. Here's what I like, a bunch of honey. Because, you know, everybody likes that sort of sweet and salty popcorn thing. And everyone tries to put sugar on their popcorn, it doesn't really work. But if you put honey or agave or whatever into your butter, then you're gonna have this fun moment of the popcorn goes back in. You don't wanna let this soak in there for too long. So right away, you gotta start shaking. You want to try to coat as much as you can. The last thing you're going to do is a big fat pinch of, let's see, that's a three finger pinch of MSG. Two fingers will probably do. And then four fingers of salt. This is kind of coarse salt, which is not great. I actually prefer finer salt than that. And uh, that's all she wrote. But it's, you don't want the bowl to be overflowing because you're sitting on my couch with your greasy little paws and the last thing I want is popcorn spilling out the sides. So this to me is the ideal amount of popcorn for this size bowl. MSG just gives it that little tiny bit of savoriness that's like inimitable. It's a little sweet, nice and salty. The kids will just watch six straight Shrek movies. Or I think there's like 19 Land Before Times or something like that. But I know you're all just like, you started this video thinking, what does this guy have to teach me about making popcorn? Well, that's just about the best popcorn I've ever had. So maybe I do have something still to teach you. Family movie night, honey butter, slightly savory popcorn. I highly recommend you make it this way. 
The one change I would make from what I did is find some salt that's not quite this coarse. The diamond crystal kosher stuff is really good, but uh, a sprinkle of MSG, good deal of butter, a little honey, quite a bit of salt, and uh, the secret. Amish country popcorn, baby sweet and tender, which also happens to be my stripper name. That's it. Pretty simple. Thank you for indulging me in my family popcorn lesson here. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because you'll miss all of this important information. If you don't, uh, you know, tell us what you think in the comments section. Thanks so much. We really do appreciate you. Class dismissed.